Hi, this video we're going to talk about different type of the temperature scales uh, and the conversion between them. So we, you know, uh, in the United States, we use Fahrenheit and uh, in, uh, in a lot of other countries, uh, use, uh, use Celsius, right? So that's uh, two different scales, Celsius versus Fahrenheit. And then you also have heard about Kelvin scale that's, um, you know, absolute uh, temperature. So we know how to convert from Celsius to Kelvin, etc. And then you might have heard about another scale, it's called a ranking scale. So uh, there are those different, uh, different uh, temperatures. So now let's look at how we're going to convert them. The way I would like to look at this is thinking about SI system. So basically it's metric system and the US system. Uh, like we said, US is using Fahrenheit and uh, the rest of the world, majority of them are using degree Celsius. So how do we change from degree Celsius to uh, from SI to US Fahrenheit? So this is going to be the equation. So we're going to use 9 fifths of the temperature in degrees Celsius and then plus 32. Okay. Then also it's thinking about for SI system, we learned about Kelvin. That's absolute scale. So from degree Celsius to Kelvin, uh, it's going to be plus 273.14. Then, uh, what would be the absolute scale here in your system? That's going to be uh, ranking. So, what is uh, the conversion if we needed to know ranking from Fahrenheit? That's going to be a different number. It's plus 459.67. Okay. Then, there must be a conversion between um, Kelvin absolute Kelvin to uh, ranking. So the rule is going to be just 9 fifths, the same coefficient here, 9 fifths, however, just Kelvin. Then we can get our, then we can get our ranking. Uh, so this is one way around. If you want to go, for example, uh, Kelvin to Degree Celsius is just minus 273, right? If you want to go from Fahrenheit to degree Celsius, you have to minus 32 first. I can write it down. So it's going to be T Fahrenheit minus 32 degree. And then we're going to divide by 9 fifths. So basically it's times 5 ninths. Then we can get uh, Celsius. And over here, from Fahrenheit to, uh, from ranking to Fahrenheit, it's going to be minus, you know, from here ranking to degree Celsius, that's going to be T ranking times 5 ninths. So that's the rule of conversion, and it's in, illustrated right here. Um, let's do a quick uh, example. For example, I just say the Let's use the freezing temperature of water. We know water freeze or ice. Ice point is zero degrees Celsius, right? So it's T equal to zero degrees Celsius. Now we're going to convert that to Fahrenheit. Fairly easy. So from degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, it's going to be nine fifths times zero, which is zero plus 32. That's 32 Fahrenheit. And then we needed to find out in Kelvin. And then, so degree Celsius to Kelvin is just going to be plus 273. So that would be 273.15. And then if we want to get uh, in ranking, you have different ways to do it. Um, you can either go from Fahrenheit to ranking, which means you're just going to plus three, uh, 459.67. So what we get is going to be... 491, right? 491.67. Um, so that's one way to do to get ranking. You could also change from 
、uh, Kelvin. So from Kelvin to Rankine, and you can、uh, try it. So in that situation, it's going to be nine fifths of Kelvin, which is two seventy three point one five, and then can plug into the calculator, which I'm doing right now. Two seventy three point one five times nine divided by five. Should it get the same answer? Yeah, it's going to be same thing four ninety one point six seven ranking. So that's just a very simple illustration. How do you convert around? Well, zero is a, a unique scenario. So how about thinking about boiling point or steam point of water? And we know water boil at One hundred degrees Celsius, and if it's one hundred degrees degrees Celsius, we're coming Fahrenheit, right? So we put nine fifths times one hundred, then plus thirty two, and then you cancel it out twenty one eighty one eighty plus thirty two that gives you two hundred twelve Fahrenheit. We all know probably that number water boils at two hundred twelve Fahrenheit. Okay, then. If you want to find out in ranking, that would be quite straightforward. From Fahrenheit, you just two hundred twelve plus four fifty nine point six seven, right? Then you get your answer. Um. So that would be your answer here. Then, if you want to get in Kelvin, that's really straightforward as well. You can use degree Celsius directly. Add. G seventy three point one five, right? Then we will have our answer three seventy three point one five. Or if you want to try the、uh, difficult path, you can. So you can go ahead and say if I want to find out from ranking to Kelvin. So I could do this. I could use six hundred seventy one point six seven ranking, then times the equation five nine. And I would suggest you to try it one time to verify the answer will be、uh, confirmed. Six seventy five point six seven times five divided by nine, and、uh, we will get the answer as three seventy three point one five. Again, it's the same answer as you got from different route. Okay, so that is a conversion、uh, of those temperature. And now next, we're gonna get into a category about the changing temperature. Would that fall in the same pattern or different? So let's see. If we're gonna see changing degree Celsius, how would that compare to、uh, temperature in Kelvin? And、uh, here's the answer already. They're gonna be actually the same. You said no, and over here we have two hundred seventy three point one five connected degree Celsius to Kelvin, and here why we get rid of it because this is a change. So let's look at example to illustrate that point.、Um, so for example, if I'm gonna make a quick table and I say this is gonna be our T one, and、uh, our T two, and this is gonna be our delta T column, and、uh, we're going to come up some numbers here. So if T one in degree Celsius and this is going to be in Kelvin, we use a simple number. Let's say zero degree Celsius. Initial temperature is zero. T one is zero, and T two let's say just one degree. So it's like increase through that situation. Delta T is going to be the change final minus initial, right? T two minus T one. That's a change, and in that situation will be one minus. Zero that would be equal to one. All right, that's one degree Celsius. Now let's look at Kelvin. If the temperature is zero degree Celsius from the conversion we just discussed, that would be two hundred seventy three point one five Kelvin, right? And how about T two, which is one degree Celsius? What's the corresponding、uh, Kelvin? Will be one plus two seventy three. That would be two seventy four point one five. Now we start to see the pattern. The delta T in this situation will be two seventy four point one five minus two seventy three point one five, and you would be getting the same number. Would be one. One here. It's in Kelvin. So with this example, we demonstrated 
if it's in the same scale, which means it's in the same system, which is in what SI system, because degree Celsius and Kelvin it's all in the same SI system. So they are going to say the change in degree is going to be the same uh, in Celsius. Uh, it's going to be the same in change in Kelvin. That's very interesting. So uh, that's one of the concepts we're going to use later on in thermal. Okay. So now we're going to looking at uh, delta T. Uh, how about in uh, in U.S. system because we use Fahrenheit and also uh, ranking. Would that be the same? The answer is yes, because they are also in the same system, which is U.S. system. And again, you can use in the same table uh, strategy to, to do a quick uh, check. will be the same. For example, if T1 is 0 Fahrenheit, you know uh, our, our ranking will be just plus 459, right? And if you uh, final temperature T2 is 1 Fahrenheit, uh, the temperature change is going to be 1 Fahrenheit and also the temperature change in ranking will be also 1 Fahrenheit because that 459.67 is cancelled. Alright, so that proved this. Then we conclude if it's in the same system, uh, if it's in US or if it's in SI system, the change in the, within the system is the same. However, if you change from, for example, SI system to US system, would that be the same? The answer will be no. So here's the equation we're going to use in that uh, this coefficient 9 fifths. So delta T change in, Fahrenheit, uh, in degree Celsius uh, times 9 fifths, that's going to be equal to the change delta T in our Fahrenheit. Okay, so that will be the, the equation for it. And we can quickly uh, go ahead and make an example for that. So for example, T1 and T2. If this is going to be in degree Celsius and this is going to be in Fahrenheit. Let's make some simple number. T1 is a 0 uh, degree and a T2, let's make 5. Now we're going to add another column that's going to be our temperature change. So from 0 to 5 degree and final minus initial, that will give us 5 degrees Celsius. Now go back to the initial temperature as 0. If it's a 0, what's going to be 0 degrees Celsius? What's the Fahrenheit? We know it's going to be 32, right? Because we're using this formula right here. 0 times 9 fifths plus 32 and that's going to be 32 Fahrenheit. And how about T2 in Fahrenheit? So using the same formula, 9 fifths, and now our T is 5 degrees Celsius, then plus 32, then we'll get answer as 41. So now let's look at the difference change will be 41 minus 32. That will give us the answer of 9. Well, this answer satisfy this equation here. Let's see, 9 fifths of delta T is going to be 5 degrees Celsius. That's the change in degrees Celsius. That's going to be equal to 9. And is our change in Fahrenheit equal to 9? Yes, so they are verified. Uh, so in this situation, you realize we get rid of the constant 32. Uh, however, we just need to take over, uh, take out the 9 fifths. That's the only, only thing. So let's demonstrate the change in uh, SI system to change in US system. We're going to use that coefficient. And uh, how about, can I change, uh, quick in illustration, can I change delta T degree Celsius to, or I can see delta T in um, Kelvin? How do I do that? Yes, of course, because remember, we have this formula, they are in the same system. And also, I could change this Fahrenheit to delta T in ranking because they are in the same U.S. system. Okay, so that's the temperature uh, change uh, and the conversion. And uh, I will see you at the next time. Bye.